series we were telling you about. It's called Today Gets Odd, where Kathy Lee and I take on a peculiar pastime. On Monday, Matt and Meredith went hunting for buried treasure, but Hody and I decided we needed something a lot more daring. Mm -hmm. Take a look. In the woods of Ohio, a dragnet bigger than any local police department. A shakedown more intense than the FBI. A search party whose trail goes cold again and again. This is no man. But it is a hunt for Bigfoot. Call him what you want. Yeti, Sasquatch, Abominable Snowman. For generations, we've heard the tall tales of this furry creature. A monster lurking through the deepest, darkest places of the world. Is it real? Is it a hoax? Even scientists say the evidence is hard to ignore. Well, I've now accumulated in my lab over 200 specimens of, of footprints. It would be more incredible to suggest that all this footprint evidence has been fabricated. But centuries later, still no answer. But for some, the search goes on. This is a location where on uh, in September 24 years ago, 1985, that I spotted this creature. It walked through this field, made no secret that it was here. It was here one minute and gone the next. Don Keating is a cryptozoologist and investigator of legendary animals. But around here, he's called a footer. Don's been investigating Bigfoot sightings for 25 years, and in all that time, only two encounters. Talk about a cold case. But Don is in the right spot, Ohio's Sasquatch Triangle. And Salt Fork State Park is right in the middle. There have been hundreds of Bigfoot sightings in these woods. There's a story of one of our uh, rangers one night was sitting at his desk at the ranger headquarters. And he looked up and saw a face in the window. He described it as looking like an ape-like creature. I don't, you know, no, he does not work here. <laughs> Sounds like there's an opening. Wanted two tough broads who aren't afraid of nothing. I said two tough broads who aren't afraid of. I forget it. So we're going footing. Footing, that's what they call it. And what does footing mean? I don't know. I hear, I've hear. i heard of big foot, but you have big feet. Shut up. <laughs> Put rudders on those things and let's go. When you tell people that you've dedicated your life to finding Bigfoot, what do they say? They say I should be dedicated to something else. <laughs> right. Are you a married man? Yes. And what's your wife think of you looking for foot? Oh, she backs me. Yeah? Backs me right out of the house. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> she may have backed him out of the house, but luckily it was into this murky hollow. This is where it happened. Don's last sighting. She saw away. something and in then, the eyes. And then what? Here. Oh, the eyes were very bright and yellow, and they were they were luminescent. As we shone the light down here, they were definitely there, and they were definitely watching us. So, if we wanted in this very spot where you spotted Bigfoot before to attract Bigfoot to us, what are some of the ways, the techniques we can get to come here? One of the techniques we can use is what they call wood on wood. Watch it, crazy! Stop I it! Love it. She's got the idea. Hold on. And then, and then listen for a response. He'll knock too? Yep. Are you serious? Well, not with you yapping. Nothing. Okay, that didn't work, Don. So give us another technique. Well, the other technique is uh, a little more involved in the wood on wood, and that's yeah. what we call a yell. You, you cup your hands like this, and you look up into the woods, and you just make a noise. You just go, oh. behind a stick stack that they may actually do this for like a territorial marker. Anything else in your arsenal? 
Uh, let me get back here on that one. 25 years? Wait, we got the water on it. It's a stick and blow a glare. Come on, Doug. Doug, you need more. This is fast looking like a wasted life. Well, you got a point there. But we're about to head back to New York, but it's not over for you, is it, Doug? No, unfortunately it's not. And what if Bigfoot is found? Is business over for Don Keating and cryptozoologists everywhere? There's always Loch Ness. Oh my god, we are such oh, idiots. Oh, we are idiots.